Hello. It is Saturday. It's not Saturday. Oh my god, my brain. I am on medication. I'm on my period and I had migraines this morning so I took some very heavy medication and since then my mind is just scrambled. It's a cloud. It is Thursday. I'm leaving tomorrow on Friday. I pulled out my suitcase but I didn't really pack. Just a few things. It's nothing. I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted currently. I'm going through a lot emotionally and my family is going through a lot and it has been really hard for me to be away from them the past two weeks and I'm very happy to go home. There's always this... Okay, let me talk about this um, because I think it's a bit hard to understand when you're not away from home. Okay. You know, when I'm talking about um, that I miss home and that I miss my family and yeah, why don't you just go home? Then just go home. Um, it's not that easy because I have been home. I've I had extended amounts of periods where I've been there and it does not make me happy. When I'm home, I miss being away. When I'm away, I miss being home. And I think there's this over glorification of the things we don't have. And in this case, it's my family. And when I'm at home, it's the exploring new things, the sun, the vibes, the everything. So your heart when you're a traveler and when you build yourself a life that is different from what is known your heart will always be in two and that's a very tricky situation to be in and you need to learn to be very present and very grateful for the moments that you have but this does not mean that you're not going to miss them and it's okay that you miss them and I'm very very happy that I'm home because a lot of things are going on and I cannot be there for the people I want to be there for and I cannot hug them and it's different to talk to someone on the phone than to have them in person for me it's very important part of the life I'm building that I have an extended amount of time in the year that I can be home. One to two months a year. I want to be at home. I want to be with my family. With my loved ones. So today, not today, but for the, over the next few days, I'm taking you along. I'm taking you along of this process of once I'm moving. I'm going to Berlin. I'm going to be in Berlin for a couple of days, for a week. And then I'm moving to Bayreuth, um, where I have another job. I'm going to be for for three and a half months. Um, yeah, I'm a nomad and I'm living on the road and it's constant go and it's constant change. There are very little consistencies through my life besides the relationships with the people I have for years. So. That was loud. Anyway, I think today I'm just going to chill. I'm meeting a friend later for a dinner before I leave. And then I'm leaving tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. That's why I have zero rush to pack because I have the whole day tomorrow to pack. So I literally have until 1 p.m. tomorrow. So. I just have two suitcases and I came with all my stuff and I used a lot of products, so I even have less. I'm good to go.
a current book right now. Just here enjoying some last summer days. Sun. Because the weather in Germany is not that great. So, I have my book here. And that's really helping me right now. And yeah, I'm just going to read. By the way, these are the islands Seiba and Stacia. You cannot see them a lot of times, but today is a very clear day, so can, you can see both islands. my travel day I keep waking up at 6 I don't know why I wanted to sleep very long because my flight is leaving at 3 and I'm arriving at 7 and then I have a whole day ahead so I wanted to sleep as long as possible but 6 and I'm awake well now it's 7 but uh, anyway just made myself some coffee and then I still need to pack and clean. So let's do it. Okay, this situation is not good. I think this one is too heavy, but I don't have a scale. So I can give this into the luggage as well. So now I will shift everything from there that is heavy into here. Okay, I had to get some coffee. I'm just too tired. Okay, I'm making progress. This one is now super heavy. But this one is more empty and the heavy stuff is out. So I think I will be fine. And yes, I do have su two suitcases. So what happened? <laughs> Story time. I was supposed to fly back two weeks ago, but I had a flexible flight um, because I wanted to have the option to extend my stay in case I have more work. And that also happened. So I changed my flight and the flight in economy was 2000 euros extra on the day today i was like what the hell is going on i started to panic because i need to be in bayreuth in one week so it's like oh my god i need to fly out later i cannot do earlier because i still have jobs to finish so i rebooked my flight on the 18th and then i was thinking if economy is this expensive how much are the other classes? So I go online and I check and business class was way more expensive, but then I checked economy premium. The economy premium was just 30 euros more than economy on the date that I booked. I was like, I'm flying, pre <laughs> I'm flying premium. So I ended up having two more suitcases and then I, because I still had a flexible flight, I was like, I will check um, regularly on the flights if they change and right bef even right before if they get cheaper. So one night I couldn't sleep. I went online and I was like, okay, let's check the date today for the economy premium. And what do I see? The economy premium is the same 
price as on the 18th so there's a construction going on over there so it's loud sometimes um yeah so same price and of course i rebook i check again the economy the economy price still plus two thousand the economy premium same price so it was 400 more than to what i paid originally so always check the other classes as well lesson of the day <laughs> Okay, let me give you a final room tour because I realized I didn't do this. This was my apartment. It's a studio. This is where I filmed all my videos. And then I had the balcony. Like a little sitting corner and a nice view. And that was my closet. And then this is the kitchen area and this is the bathroom. I am all packed now. I should be fine. This stuff goes in here and then I have this one for the hand luggage as well and I'm all set.
just wanted to round up to give you a feedback on how it went. The decision to fly premium was the best decision ever, especially with the time difference coming back to Europe this way. The other way around, it's a day flight, so normal economy is fine for me, but when you have a night flight, it's different. So I could check in with Sky Priority super fast. I was through luggage check-in in five minutes and the people were super nice. <laughs> then uh, you were the first to board the plane with um, priority check-in. Um, the comfort on the plane, you saw all the little extras, everything was super easy. Uh, lots of leg room, which was amazing, especially I'm a bit taller, so wonderful. And then for the change in Paris, I could, I was the first to get off. I just had an hour to change and Charles de Gaulle is huge. So um, first to get off go through fast lane um, priority security check in Paris and then the f first to board the plane again, the first to exit the plane again and you had more leg room there as well for the shorter flight and then the luggage came first out which was amazing because I did not have to wait for luggage so luggage was out first and I could give me I, I was through the airport in Berlin in 15 minutes I think um, and usually it takes minimum half an hour if not longer so that was super amazing as well I was very very happy to have done this and I can only recommend it and I definitely will do it again because yeah and then you get more miles you get more xp and I hope to upgrade to silver sin and then um, it will also get a little bit cheaper so uh, yeah if you have any questions leave a comment below and I see you in the next one